Okay, so Phil, how was it, mate? Yeah, uh, it's, yeah, it was a tough one, really. Uh, frustrating to come so so close to the qualifying time again this season. Uh, I think it was like three tenths of a second again. Uh, it just uh, just quite couldn't get it going on that last lap. I knew I needed to finish fast, so I was giving it everything I had, and uh, yeah, just just outside again. So 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 close again, as you say. Um, we got to halfway and we were pretty much bang on, if not inside. And you sort of took it on at, at, at 2k in, went past the iron to yeah. sort of give him give him the hand and push him on. What were you sort of feeling at that 2k point? Uh, I knew at 2k that we had slipped slightly through through the second k and needed to pick it up again uh, and, and finish strong. So I was wary not to go too hard too soon, just to try and gradually wind it up. And uh, I was, you know, pretty much. I think I was just outside of the lap to go, but I know I, know I can finish fast. Yeah. So it's the quickest I've been with a lap to go, um, about a second or two quicker than in Belgium. So I knew I was capable of getting the time off that last lap, but just uh, yeah, just didn't quite have it there. Um, yeah. I guess it's it's a it's a PB, but it's no consolation really. It's sort of. It's, it's a bit of sweet, really, I guess, with, yeah. with that time being so close. Yeah, I mean, I've had three uh, times now within a second and a half of the standard. Um, but obviously, if you don't hit the standard, then it's, you don't get that you know, automatic selection. So I've got a race on Tuesday in Croatia. Uh, conditions are looking good. It's looking like a quality field. So I just need to race well there and hopefully I'll get a, a good time and that'll be enough to cement my place as, you know, get a uh, wild card entry. So just hope the selectors look at my consistency and uh, feel that I deserve that spot. Yeah, absolutely. And like you say, you talk about your consistency throughout the year. How does that look going into um, your winter season and your building for next year, hoping for, what, what are you hoping for next year? Uh, obviously next year's Tokyo Olympics. I feel like I've made really good progress over the last uh, 12 months or so. Um, if you look at my times last year, I was, I was more like a 840, 850 kind of guy. Um, and this year I've, I'm, I'm you know, around the 830 consistently now. Um, so I've made really big progress from last year and it's really only the first sort of 12 months so I've had a proper training program and doing proper proper training really so I, I'm, I'm sure with another winter behind me and getting some more you know proper training in that, that I'll be able to hit that standard next year and make the Olympics that's the, that's the goal. Well Phil thank you so much for coming it's so great to see uh, the standard of steeplechase in the UK increasing with the likes of Zach Seddon yourself and and Jan, who we saw compete today. So you've come on leaps and bounds this year and we hope you just improve for the next year and see you in Tokyo. Thank you. Cheers. Best of luck, mate.